one theory is that if it's possible to have many different values of the dark of vacuum energy, and if different regions of the universe have different values of it, it's only those regions that have vacuum energy around what we observe that contain anything of any interest. So it's only in those regions that you have stars, galaxies, planets, observers, us, to ask these questions. Mm -hmm. and so asking why the vacuum energy is so small, it's like asking, why do we live on the surface of a rocky planet, right? The vast majority of the volume of the universe that we can see is empty space. And then if you just ask about interesting objects, well, the vast majority of the volume would be inside a star or even just ask about planets. Most of the volume is inside the planet where it's all molten and hot. So why don't we live inside the earth or in the sun or in empty space? Well, we probably live on the surface of the earth because that's where that's the only place where life can evolve. And so similarly, if you have a multiverse like this, why do we live in a region with small vacuum energy? That might be the only place life can evolve. So this is called the anthropic principle. It's another very controversial yeah. uh, approach. People don't like it. Uh, Humans are um, the center of it. Yeah, they don't, yeah, they don't yeah. like it because it puts humans into science, which yeah. sounds <laughs> like something you shouldn't do. Right. But to me, well, they, and the other reason they don't like it is that it's a bit like giving up. You're not trying to explain this in a more quantitative or fundamental way. You're just saying it had to be that way or we wouldn't be here. That's not yeah. very interesting as an answer. I agree with those criticisms, but at the same time, I think this is obviously the right answer to certain questions. Like, why are we living on the surface of a rocky planet? It's, it's such a, I mean, people don't even ask that question because it seems dumb. It's obvious what the answer is, I think. I think that's what most people would say if you ask them that question. They would say, I never thought about it, but if you really make me think about it, of course we live on the surface of a planet because everything else is empty or extremely hot or... Sure. The finely tuned universe. Yeah, and yeah. especially where we live is a very, very specific place. Yeah. Extremely specific. We're within a few meters of the surface of a rocky planet. The, you divide the volume of regions like that um, for, by the total volume of the universe... It's a ridiculously small fraction. Yeah. So we live in an incredibly fine-tuned place. And the, I think the only possible answer is, well, that's the only place where life is. So I don't see this as all that different. Um, I mean, hopefully there's a better answer. Maybe there's a unique calcul there's a calculation you can do that uniquely predicts the vacuum energy. That would be much better. I doubt it, though. I, I think this is probably the right answer. I think it's the most compelling of all the solutions that's ever been proposed for it. And there have been many.